Morning you guys, it's Karen and I thought I would come and show you the Christmas woof woof box and everything in it because it is a really good one. So let me start with the magazine. The woof woof box, by the way, is a monthly subscription box. I will put the link below. I have been having these boxes now for two years, I think. I think it's two years, something like that. Um, and there are some that are, because I've got such a fussy dog, Watson is so fussy with what he eats, like as in he, he doesn't like fish treats, for example, but also he's got a, a sensitive tummy, so he can't eat anything with chicken in. So that makes it difficult, but also he's fussy with toys and things. So there are, there are some that I get that I'm like, okay, he's not gonna play with that. But I have to say he's catered to pretty well and I've always had treats that, you know, that he's able to eat and whatnot. Um, but anyway, let me start with this. You get the magazine with it. And I like this because it kind of explains what's in it. But their magazine as well has normally got a recipe in. Let's have a look they're talking about um, doggy music at the back noise anxiety in dogs there's little articles in here yet yeah, they've got this one here christmas apple and mint treats in this one apple and mint treats interesting coconut oil greek yogurt parsley mint and an apple to make these little I'll put them in ice cube trays, leave them to freeze overnight. So they've got a picture there and I thought, I'm surely they don't turn out like those biscuits. Anyway, okay, so that's the magazine. Let me show you what I got in here. So the first thing I got was this and it's a little scarf. Um, this is made by Woof Woof. It says Woof Woof on it. And I'm assuming this is a Christmas one. Yeah, it's got little Christmas, is Christmas Santa Claus on it, little gingerbread men and whatnot. This is actually really good because there was one in a couple of boxes ago. It must have been October's because I used it. It was a Halloween one, the Halloween box, yes. And I used it where Watson had his scar. But what I found is it's really handy to put on him in the winter, you know, just it goes, it sits perfectly by his harness and kind of keeps the cold off his neck because his fur is very short there where he's had that tumour. And normally I wouldn't have to worry about Watson being cold or anything. Um, but I know obviously a lot of you will have short haired dogs and you may need to consider that. And I just think having a little scarf on is really cozy and it looks really nice. So I really like that and I might well put that on him because um, we're having a cold week here in Scotland this week. So I like that. Then there is this. It's, what is it called cupid and well oh, i'm gonna need my glasses to read that cupid and comet festive dog treats now the only thing with this is i can't see the ingredients but i think it will probably be okay it looks like a christmas pudding and i've had things like this before for watson it's it's hard like this is we couldn't chew it humans could not chew this but this would be really good to give to a dog as a kind of long lasting treat you know it'll take a little bit of crunching but obviously you'd need to be really really wary and supervise them because of choking um but i think i've given one of these to watson before i seem to remember a starfish one and been surprised that he could actually chew it you know you forget how strong their jaws are so that would be a good like kind of dental treat then there's this little toy it's a little sausage dog i think isn't it it's a little the little squeaky one it's by woof woof one side is kind of fluffy one side is a different material and yeah i think that's quite a cute little toy and i actually think watson might play with that he might um, enjoy chewing that he's so so fussy like i said but he likes smaller toys so i often look at um puppy toys and whatnot you know um so that is cute then there are these treats that again oops sorry are made by woof woof and watson really likes these these are grain free they're a nice size as well they're just the perfect size to use for training oh not very easy to open don't remember that but i want to show you them and i remember looking at the ingredients and being impressed and they're low enough fat for watson to eat because of his inflammatory bowel disease there's only certain things he can eat so this is the, the treats so you can see how small that is really tiny but it's really really good for playing um you know find it games and the enrichment games that i use and he really likes them I've, we've had them in two flavors i'm sure beef and i think the other one might be lamb in fact i think i've got it in my dog walking bag um, to take with me so really like them the final thing i'm super duper impressed with oh actually is this the oh no this is telling you how to use this treat house 
This is a Woofmas Treat House. It's an interactive dog toy designed to slow down eating while engaging your dog's sense of smell and natural foraging skills. This is the very thing that you'll have seen me making myself, buying, using all the time. It's basically a kind of snuffle mat, um, but it's a specific Christmas one. I was really impressed when I saw this. Look at that, isn't that brilliant? It's really, really good. So the top part, there's a little sort of snuffle bit. So you can put treats under there. Then there's a little one with a little hole in the middle there. Then this one is just, it's like a little cinnamon roll, isn't it? You can put treats in and this one, they need to sort of lift up the flaps like that and you can put treats under there. So I thought that was really good and it's in the shape of a Christmas tree. And these treats would be perfect to use in this. So yeah, I thought that was really, really good. And I know that Watson will love having a new enrichment toy, you know, um, that will be right up his alley. So that's everything they've got in this book. Like, box, like I said, I'll put the details um, down below. I think it's great because there's things in here that I would never find out about, um, you know, that I've ended up buying over the years that I didn't know existed. So um, it's really handy from that point of view and a nice little treat for the dogs each month, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you again soon.